WWE wrestlers who will never win another world title. Number 10, The Miz. For the past 15 years, The Miz has been used in prominent roles in WWE. Miz is seen as one of the most reliable and consistently great talents in the company, and this has been recognized with two separate WWE title reigns in 2011 and 2021 respectively. Unfortunately, due to how incredibly stacked the WWE roster is, it seems unlikely that the A-lister will ever win the top prize in the company ever again. This doesn't mean that The Miz's strong presentation will change, as even though Triple H now handles the day-to-day -day WWE creative, the game has spoken out time and time again in relation to how much he respects and enjoys the work of The Miz. Number 9. Bobby Lashley Fans were delighted during the COVID-19 pandemic when WWE began to push Bobby Lashley. WWE decided to let Lashley be his authentic self on TV and this resulted in Lashley delivering some of his finest work of his entire career. Multiple WWE title reigns would follow and these reigns made fans question why WWE waited so long to put Lashley in this prominent position. As since Vince McMahon took a step back from WWE in 2022, Lashley's booking and presentation has been all over the place under Triple H. Lashley seems to go from babyface to heel every single month, and he's not had a major match on a pay-per-view event in a considerable amount of time. Unfortunately for Lashley and his fans, this does seem to imply that the Almighty won't be winning world title gold again in WWE, which is a massive shame as Lashley still has a ton to offer to the company in that elite yet coveted role. Number 8. Finn Balor in the summer of 2016, WWE implemented plans to make Finn Balor the top babyface on Raw. Balor was going to win the newly introduced Universal title at the SummerSlam event and he was going to be the face of the red brand moving forward. Sadly, during the aforementioned SummerSlam, Balor suffered a career-altering injury and he was forced to relinquish the title. When Balor returned to TV the following year, it was almost as if WWE had given up on him and Balor would never be seriously considered for another world title. The best they could do for Balor was an intercontinental title reign and another run in the NXT brand as the NXT champion. There was an expectation that Balor's fortunes may change when Triple H took over creative and they have somewhat as Balor was featured in several world title matches in 2023 yet he never won the big one. As the WWE roster continues to evolve, the chances of Balor winning another world title in the company seem to decrease with every passing day. Number 7. Jinder Mahal Jinder Mahal shocked the world in 2017 when he became WWE Champion. This victory came out of nowhere and received endless criticism from fans as they believed that Mahal wasn't World Championship material and this came across in his in-ring work. It is possible that Mahal may win a mid-card title in the future, yet another run as WWE or World Champion seems completely out of the question. Mahal is mostly used as an enhancement talent and he will occasionally be pushed up the card. Yet when WWE do this, it always results in a losing effort for Mahal. Mahal still offers value to the WWE as he could be considered a veteran within the locker room. And just because WWE don't consider Mahal as world champion material doesn't impact his standing in the locker room amongst his peers, as Mahal is often labelled as one of the most likeable and respected talents around. Number 6. AJ Styles For the first few years of AJ Styles' run in WWE, they were fully on the AJ Styles hype train. He would feud with names such as John Cena, Randy Orton and The Undertaker and he even had multiple WWE title reigns. But in recent years, he struggled to find a substantial place on the card and whilst he can still bring it and is still phenomenal in the ring, it just seems like WWE would rather use other talents in featured roles. AJ still lingers around the main event picture which is exactly where he should be, yet there's unlikely to be a single WWE fan who is expecting AJ to have another world title run before he calls it a day. Number 5. Sheamus one of the common trends in pro wrestling is that a wrestler earns the admiration of the fans over a period of time. This has definitely been the case with Sheamus, who fans weren't sure of what to make when he first debuted in WWE, yet over the past few years, Sheamus has become a beloved figure within WWE. The fans have realized that Sheamus' body of work has aged like fine wine, and he's still able to bring it at the top level if WWE requires him to. Sheamus has had several runs as world champion and the latest of these came almost a decade ago. There's been a vocal push particularly on social media to elevate Sheamus into the main event scene and potentially win one more world title before he retires. This doesn't seem achievable as Sheamus never seems in contention for a world title in WWE, yet it does seem likely that Sheamus will receive an intercontinental title reign before it's all said and done. Number 4. Braun Strowman our fans were surprised when in 2020, WWE decided to crown Braun Strowman as Universal Champion. 
Strowman was a replacement for Roman Reigns in the Universal title match at WrestleMania 36, and this was seen as three years too late by the majority of fans. Strowman's win at WrestleMania came out of nowhere, and he should have been given a world title run in 2017 or 2018, as that's when his character was incredibly over with the audience. In the years that followed following his Universal title loss in the summer of 2020, Strowman would evolve both as a character and a human being, and he even found himself released from WWE, which was a controversial move and still remains a bad baffling decision on WWE's part. Triple H did the right thing and eventually brought Strowman back, and Strowman before his injury was placed into a tag team with Ricochet, which was received incredibly well, and the game has been able to book Strowman in matches and feuds that highlight all of his strengths. Based on Strowman's booking and presentation, Strowman winning another world title would be a bold move, as there's nothing to imply that WWE and Triple H see Strowman at that level. Whilst this may be disappointing for Strowman, he will still no doubt be a prominent fixture on WWE TV when he returns, and it goes to show that not every wrestler needs to be in a main event picture to remain relevant and to be utilised in a compelling manner. Number 3. Kofi Kingston A Kofi Mania was a joyous time to be a WWE fan, yet when Kingston's reign ended in a squash match at the hands of Brock Lesnar, it was evident that WWE's stance on Kingston had changed, and they no longer saw him as a main eventer. Since the infamous loss to Lesnar, Kingston has never reached the heights of his 2019 run as WWE Champion, which is frustrating as Kingston was excellent in the role and he truly deserved to be in a prestigious position. Kingston becoming world champion again in the company may be off the table, and fans may have given up on requesting that Kingston be pushed up the card, but this will never be taken away from Kingston's time as champion in 2019. Kingston is still thought of highly by WWE management as he's always used on TV and is still incredibly over with the audience. Ultimately, at the end of his career, Kingston and his work is going to be universally celebrated by his peers and the fanbase, which arguably means way more than another world title reign. Number 2. Rey Mysterio it can be the case in pro wrestling that a wrestler no longer needs a world title reign to remain relevant. This has been the case for WWE Hall of Famer Rey Mysterio, who despite not having a world title run in 13 years, is still one of the most popular wrestlers in the entire world, and he's still a certified box office draw. Everything Mysterio does on screen is presented as important, and the fans instantly invest in whatever he does, mainly because Mysterio has a sense of aura and credibility. Would it be nice to see one of the most iconic names in pro wrestling history receive another run? Sure, yet it would not profoundly change anything about Mysterio's presentation. It does not matter if Mysterio is world champion or if he's in the opening match of a pay-per-view event, Mysterio remains in a league of his own as a performer. And number 1. John Cena the 16-time world champion John Cena has said in a 2022 interview that although his in-ring career isn't over, he doesn't believe another world title run is on the cards, and based off on how WWE booked Cena, this seems like an accurate assessment. Cena's presentation in recent years has received vast criticism as Cena loses every top match, and this somewhat impacted how much of a statement defeating John Cena makes. Cena has been defeated by names such as Austin Theory and Sola Sokoa, yet this didn't impact their standing in the company. WWE must be careful not to take Cena for granted, and yes, he's still a pop culture icon, and yes, he's in the Mount Rushmore of the biggest WWE draws ever, but booking the legend to lose every match is going to result in fans being preconditioned to expect him to lose every match. It is indeed a shame that it's unlikely Cena will ever win another world title in WWE, however this doesn't alter his legacy in any way, shape or form. But there you have it folks, WWE wrestlers who will never win another world title. Be sure to leave your comments down below and I'll see you next time with some more wrestling content.